Narendra Modi has traveled across the length and breadth of the country for the election campaign. He has been spotted in four different cities on the same day, but Namo has hardly stayed away from home. The Gujarat chief minister makes it a point to return to his state every single day despite his busy schedule. Take a look. Modi refuses to stay outside of Gujarat. Though Modi has been travelling across the length and breadth of the country, he ensures his rallies are done by 6 in the evening. Surprisingly, Modi returns home every day after he is done with his rallies. Yes, Modi rarely agrees to stay at a place outside his home. Ever since Modi was anointed as a BJP's PM candidate, he has addressed over 150 rallies across the country, clocking more than 3 lakh kilometers, but he is hell-bent on returning to Gujarat at the end of the day. He is one of the very few politicians in national politics with his base outside of Delhi. Modi prefers to deal with the nation from his official residence in Gujarat. Sources say that Modi has slept outside Gujarat only on few days in spite of his hectic schedule. The Gujarat chief minister even changes his clothes inside his plane or at the hangar where his charter planes are deployed. It is said that Modi changes his kurtas as he gets sweaty due to the heat. As soon as Modi reaches Gujarat, it's phone time once again with his core committee members. He usually calls them from the airport and discusses various issues and tries to gather feedback and suggestions on his day plan. Interestingly, Modi doesn't use his phone but prefers to use his PA's phone to talk to some of his close aides. Technology is Modi's favorite weapon. Once Modi is back in Gujarat, he prepares himself for another round of speeches. This time, it's for his 3D audience. The BJP leader addresses rallies throughout the country simultaneously as a hologram. It is believed that this is the first time hologram technology has been used in a general election campaign in India. Modi reaches out to over 5 million electorates through his 3D technology and has addressed more than 800 rallies in hologram from where his lifelike performance has been greeted with a mix of awe and disbelief. Modi had experimented with hologram technology for rallies during his 2012 state assembly elections in Gujarat and had assembled a team of up to 40 technologists and more than 400 camera and sound staff in 120 truck-based teams. After the hologram meetings are over, it's once again meetings for the BJP's prime ministerial candidate. He starts to make calls and plans his day in advance. Sometimes he also uses late evenings to give interviews to the media. Modi tries to eat his dinner by 9.30, but the grueling election season has forced him to stay with people or at his office till midnight. After spending a hectic day, dinner time is when the Gujarat chief minister relaxes and relishes his food. His dinner is once again Gujarati food with kadi, kichdi and vegetables. Sources claim that though Namo is strict about his diet, he is quite familiar with other cuisines too. But during the election season, sources say that there are days 
when Modi even skips dinner. Narendra Modi is used to fasting as he fasts through the Navratri period. Namo lives on lemon juice during the festive season and never fusses over food. Like many, Modi prefers his meal at his residence and avoids food prepared by others. During one of his interviews with the general public, Modi had claimed that he has stayed hungry for years and that is one of the reason his food intake is less and simple. After a hectic day, Modi returns to his four-bedroom house, but the Gujarat chief minister is so used to one room that he has all his things in the same room. From his cot to his puja materials to his books, one of Modi's rooms in his four-room house has it all. It is said that nobody actually knows what time Modi sleeps. It is said that his party members and other workers have received mails from Namo even post midnight. Whatever be the case, Namo ensures that he wakes up at 5 in the morning. Namo often said that he is happy with just three hours of sleep. But how does he manage to get so much energy? Well, only he knows. News 9 report.